We've all heard the advice, don't go to the food store when you're very hungry. Because chances are 99% you're going to buy more than you need. Or have you ever been on a, uh, on a uh, self-imposed uh, diet? Well, I guess all diets are self-imposed. But have you ever been in a period where you're trying to control your food intake because you want to lose weight, you want to get in shape? And uh, you realize if, you're, if you have the power to resist that initial, a, initial you know, uh, urge when you're first looking at the menu, at the menu and uh, if you don't go for that uh, you know, cheeseburger with fries and instead go for the salad, after you've eaten it and you're uh, full anyways with that salad, you feel so proud of yourself, you feel so much better that you didn't give in to that initial urge and you resisted the temptation and you took the high road and then on the on the opposite side when you when you give in you say ah what the heck you know this one time is not gonna hurt and you you do uh, go for the cheeseburger and fries and, and, and a coke uh, to wash it down and after you're full you kind of hate yourself you know, for, you, uh, for not being uh, uh, able to resist the urge, not having the willpower, not being able to take the high road. Well, the same part of the brain, my friends, uh, is uh, tapped when we're in a, uh, in a weather uh, with a woman. Um, this, is, this, is, uh, this is addressed to the men. When we're with a woman and uh, she's very attractive and beautiful and... Uh, we are uh, tempted to to go uh, forego our 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 better uh, advice and our better uh, uh, wisdom and uh, take her to dinner when we are just uh, meeting her and and a coffee would suffice would be most wise or if you know her asking her to marry you and uh, doing things, uh, simpy things, doing uh, things that are uh, uh, against the universal rule of, of um, masculine, attractive behavior. You do that and the same thing happens afterwards. If you take the high road and resist, not only in this case because now you we're not dealing with an inanimate object. If you take the high road and resist, now this is uh, talking about dealing with uh, the opposite sex. Not only will you feel better uh, because uh, you have taken the high road and you did not appear uh, desperate and uh, you did not uh, spend the money that you, that you didn't need to and you did not put yourself in a situation where you're ex exposed to uh, unlimited losses. I'm talking about marriage and things like that. You'll feel, not only you feel so much better, but also she will respect you. You will come across to her as someone who's not desperate. Someone who's not impressed by beauty. Someone who has options. Someone who's used to uh, having uh, beautiful things and is not uh, losing himself and, and you know, uh, uh, jumping in and, and acting like a fool. Like someone who's, uh, you know, has something that's never had before. The rewards will be double uh, in, in comparison with resisting uh, fattening food. And on the opposite side, if you don't take the high road, if you go uh, see a beautiful woman on a first date and say, well, uh, let's go to dinner, you know, let's, let's, let's splurge. You go in, uh, to an expensive restaurant and, and she orders uh, two, three glasses of wine and everything. And, and uh, you know, you end up spending 150, 175, 200, I don't know, whatever it is, depending on what geographic part of the world you are. This is, gonna, this is not going to help you in any way, shape or form, regardless of the underlying situation. And afterwards, you feel like a loser, you know, because not only, again, not, this is not dealing with an inanimate object. Not only you have spent more money and energy, and most importantly, you have uh, spent your dignity in front of uh, this uh, woman. But on her, in her eyes, in her eyes, uh, you come across as someone who's not used to having good things, who's easily impressed. And uh, she has the upper hand. She goes, well, you know, if, she, if, if he's willing to spend so much uh, money on me on a first date, or if he's uh, so quick to say, I want to marry you, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, I love you, 
you're the most beautiful thing I ever had. You complete me. All that other BS that means absolutely nothing and is guaranteed to bring you nothing but a regret with a capital R. You will look better not only in her eyes, but to yourself. You will be proud of yourself and you'll set precedence for next time because you want to have that great feeling afterwards. You don't want to have that feeling of uh, taking the, the, the low road and, and losing and regretting something that you've done. You follow me on this? So the same part of the brain that's stimulated by delicious food, that same part of the brain is stimulated by, uh, you know, being entangled with a beautiful woman. You have to take the high road because the rewards afterwards are exponential, are, are so much better than uh, the uh, alternative. The point of this video is, remember the simplest things are the most brilliant things. They asked uh, Albert Einstein, uh, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm paraphrasing of course, they asked him, uh, what is genius? And he said, Genius is being able to explain something very complicated in the most simple way that an average person would easily understand. And I think, uh, I believe I have used this uh, example before, uh, but for those of you who haven't heard it, I'll quickly repeat it again. And Albert Einstein, uh, to give an example, this is how he explained it. He said, imagine one minute, t uh, you know, unit of time, 60 seconds. One is spent sitting next to a very beautiful woman on a park bench which goes by in a flash the other unit of time 60 seconds one minute is spent with your hand on a burning range burning fire which will seem like a century and that was his genius way of explaining the theory of, of relativity in a way that everybody would understand now this simple thing don't go to a store food store when you're hungry for the obvious reason because you're hungry at that moment you're going to buy things that you wouldn't normally buy and you're going to buy amounts that you wouldn't normally buy something that you're guaranteed to regret later on the same token when you're faced with a beautiful woman whether it's your first date or whether it's your four five six date you know fifth date sixth date and and you're thinking of of uh, asking her to be your girlfriend or popping the question. If you resist, if you resist the temptation and let the time pass, afterwards you'll be so happy. You'll be so fulfilled and satisfied. You'll be so proud of yourself. It'll make a better man out of you. To be able to, to know, prove it to yourself, that under the most trying circumstances, you have the power to control yourself and come out on top and take the high road. I'll leave you with this. They did a study, you might have heard this before, they did a study on uh, kids uh, in, I believe it was in, in, a, in a foreign country, but I don't, wanna, I don't wanna give you wrong information, as I promised you, I'll never give you something that I'm not 100% sure of. But about the study and the, and, the, and the process of it and the results of it, I am 110% sure. They did a study with kids and uh, this, the, 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 the method of the study was, they tell them that if you do such and such, you know, we'll give you this candies uh, that you love. They ask everyone, what's your favorite candy? They said, we'll give you these candies and we'll give you these toys uh, today. But if you wait, if you wait and, uh, you know, complete this and this and this and this, then we'll give you 10 times the candy and 10 times the toys you know, in uh, six months from now. And some, are, some kids chose the option A and some kids chose the option B and they, they followed them. You know, they, they, they uh, saw those kids' uh, accomplishments in life later on and they realized with a uh, accuracy of 100%, those who were able to de delay um, uh, satisfaction and gratification were far more successful than those who wanted instant gratification. And I think if you've experienced in a, in a regular course of life, you have found that also to be true in your case. God be with you. 
Listen to these advice because they can only do you good in life, my friends. All the best.